Hey guys, it's Devin Tucker for another exciting tutorial in After Effects. So today, what we're going to be making is, in this part two actually can, uh, tutorial, we're going to be making uh, a 3D energy ball. But this energy ball is going to be way more advanced, and it's my hardest tutorial yet. It's twice, it's like five times harder than what I usually do. So first of all, this is what we're going to be making. Alright, you get an idea. You can import it and everything else like that. Kind of like you do on uh, um, with Action Movie Essentials, except this is your own preset. So we're going to be using only the stuff in After Effects. So uh, let's get started. We'll make a new composition, as I already did. You don't have to name it. You can if you want, but the width has to be 1080 by 720, or you um, usually 30 frames per second and we'll do 10 seconds long. Now, we're going to create a new layer and make sure it's a solid. Yeah, make it black. Okay, okay. Now, we're going to take the pen tool and kind of just make a few squiggly lines on this. Click off onto the black solid again. Make uh, another squiggly line. And I'm going to make four squiggly lines. You can do three, but no no less than three. You can, after you click, you can hold down and just kind of adjust it, make it curvy. Okay, now that we've done that, what we're going to do is uh, select one of the masks by dropping this arrow down. Mask one. And we're going to go to effect generate Vegas which is actually where I'm living right now we're going to set the stroke to mask path um, we'll make the width take the width bring it up make sure the segments are down to one because if it's too many segments you know but just one segment so you kind of have that faded turn the hardness up just a little bit but not too much because it'll look a little bit more cartoony and we'll go ahead and change this color to, I want to change this color to blue. Now, we're going to duplicate this effect by clicking on this, hit Control D, and then hit Mask right here, it's 2. Now we're going to do the same thing, click on this effect, Control D, Mask 3. One more time, Control D, Mask Good. Now that we got all our masks set with the Vegas uh, thing, what we're going to do is we're going to set our workspace, make sure it's to effects, and let me give me a minute for this to load, which kind of sucks. Crap. <laughs> One problem with the new After Effects is that. So what we're going to type in is offset. Now that we got our offset, we're going to drag it right onto our black solid. And we're going to set a time watch right here and then drag our um, video tool all the way to the end of the 10 seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and put this at 2400. Alright, now let's see, move it till it kind of adjusts. What this does is the more you do this, it goes up, down, up, down, just keeps going like this. So now that we got our offset, we're going to type in polar coordinates, which you can type in polar and it comes up. Now we're going to take our polar coordinates, put it on top of our black solid. We're going to set the type of conversion to rec to polar, so it goes inward, and turn our interpolation all the way up to 100%. Now what we have is this. We're going to create um, a new black solid, layer, new, solid, make it black, comp size, same as this, and we are going to turn off the visual so we don't see the layer, but the layer is still there. And we are going to use the ellipse tool by holding down on the square right here, and then just selecting ellipse, and make just a pretty nice circle, and you can adjust it with the... Um, arrow keys. So after we adjust it right to the middle, we are going to hit subtract right next to the mask. It's 
turn back on the visual so now we got the circle what we're going to do is we want to click the arrow right next to the mask and change up the feather just a little bit like this so that looks like it's kind of fading we can turn it up just a little bit more but we don't want anyone to see the outer circle ledge because it looks a little bit cheesy and looks like it's been cut out and we don't want that so after we got this done we are going to minimize this arrow go to um, select both of these layer and we're going to pre-compose this move all attributes in the new composition and we are going to call this lines Let me take a drink of my orange juice ah, vitamins for the day anyway so after we got this line set up what we're going to do is we're going to make our uh, um, our three um, we're going to make it 3D so what we're going to do is we want to take a layer actually I don't think we have to do a black one we, we could do a black solid as our uh, adjustment layer but just black solid right here drag it behind and then we're going to set oh one thing I forgot huh, sorry about that just go back in the lines this composition double click and you want to set the lines right here hit toggle switches modes and set this to inverted out uh, mat now we can go back to our comp one sorry about that guys and we're going to go ahead and just uh, hit the 3D channel and control D, D. Now, we got all our duplicated layers and we have our 3D channel on. So what we're going to do is make a layer, new, camera. Make it 28 millimeters. And what this will allow us to do is then go ahead, hold down this, use the orbit tool and that will let us look at this in 3d now we can always reset it by going to transform hit and reset alright so after we've done that what we're going to do is take toggle switches mode make sure all these are set to screen that way we can see through one another and not have to um, see the blackness around it You'll know what I mean if you now um, view the screen stuff. So we want to take the first lines layer and select the rotation tool. We're going to kind of rotate it and uh, go ahead, take the arrow tool, just kind of bring this down. We're going to take the second one. We're going to rotate it, rotate it upwards. This take this just kind of adjust it any way you want go back rotation rotate it this way so what we have now is this what we can do though is uh... first of all I'd love to, I'd love to drop this thing down because it'll make it look more realistic just kind of skew it out stretch a little bit and this will make it look like it's conducting some sort of energy we can always duplicate another layer like the bottom layer D and then just use this layer it's still set to screen so and we're gonna just kinda rotate this and just kinda do it to where you'd like you know now after we got this where you want it, it's kind of hard to position it and we can use this tool to position and then the rotation tool to alright that looks pretty decent now we can always check our work by going to the camera selecting orbit again and just kind of look around to make sure this is filled in I think this looks fairly decent and we will set this back to reset and now we're gonna um, select everything, layer, precompose, and we're going to call this string energy. Hit OK. Now we got our string energy. We are going to make the energy ball. But first, we're going to make a black solid. Make a comp size. Make sure you put it below everything that's coming on this page. 
So, um, actually, I'm going to cut this short real quick. Um, we're going to resume right where I'm at. It's just I have to uh, make a part two.